Hi. Good evening. Teachers, pupils, and everyone that joined us today in the Learning English Easy Web. Welcome you all today to join us. So how you all feel after the long holiday? After have a good rest. So I think that you are must be a very, uh, how to say, in a very good condition to start for today's lesson. So now, I am Miss Ang Hei San and I am from SJKC Preacher. Pupils, welcome back to a wonderful platform which full of learning. Hope you are enjoying each lesson and know that you are surrounded by support. Try your best in everything you do. Stay positive, have fun, and keep smiling. You are the reason we are here. The magic of the day is about to begin. You can find magic whenever you look, sit back, relax, or you need is enjoy the lesson. So before the lesson start, I have some reminder of some lovely reminders to you all. Let's have a look at the reminders. First, the lesson is going to be lasting for an hour. Therefore, we hope to have your full attention to enjoy the lesson. Second, you can take notes on a paper or in a book using a pencil. Third, you can respond to the question by typing in the chat box or comment section. But you have to remember that you must be comment politely and positively to ensure that we have a productive lesson. You could use the earphone for a better audio and adjust your video resolution for the better learning experience. And the live session will be available on both Easy Learning Web's Facebook page and also YouTube. You may watch and replay them at your convenience. And the last reminder, but also the most important reminder here, do remember to jot down the three passcodes. I repeat again, three passcodes during the lessons, because if you are completed 10 lessons within this year, you will receive a certificate for the Learning Easy Web English Lesson. 同学们，今天的课堂中呢，你们要特别注意的一件事情就是讲课的老师呢会宣布三个通关密码。三个通关密码，你们要留意哦，因为之后的出席表格你们需要输入这个通关密码。输入后，只要你筹满十次的出席率
you all have completed your task, you will be able to get the notifications of our English learning lessons after this. So now, I will write start for the lesson today. Do you all curious about what is the today topic about? What is it? It's about the landmarks from around the world. I am a teacher who loves to travel very much. And I have been traveled to some countries. Maybe you all can have a guess what are the country I had traveled before. If you wish to, you all can reply or comment in the chat box or at the comment session. I believe you are able to get it because before this, we have to learn three lessons that relate to the countries around the world. Okay. Now, I will wish to introduce our presenter for the today lesson. She is a very, very powerful teacher who has a very, very, very long bibliography here. And she is Miss Shi Yuan Ling, who is an English language teacher from SJKC New Copy Sun Para. She is the edit principal being chosen by the Ministry of Education. She also a master trainer of CFR courses. She is also the founder of Media Education for our Google Certified Educator for the Level 1 and 2, Microsoft Innovative Educator Experts, Certified National Geographic Educator, and also the Vaculet Ambassador and Community Leader. Beside the long evocation, she also achieved a lot of rewards throughout the years. And the rewards are Anugerah Emas Amalan Terbaik PDPC dan IR 2021. Top 15 Chego Kids Start Award 2021. Second runner up e classroom competition 2021. Global Inspiring Women's Award 2020. Anugerah Guru Inspirasi 2020. Anugerah PDP Creative and Innovative Guru Semasa PKP 2020. Top 10 Pertandingan Bina Bahan PDPC Creative Sejarah Atas Talian 2020. Top 25 Inco Keep Outstanding Teacher 2020. Malta Excellent in Research Award 2020. And the last one is the Top 15 Campaign Guru PAK Duablo Satu. The list is very wrong, right? So I hope you all can appreciate the session of today. So without hesitation, I will now invite our speaker of the day. Let us welcome Miss Shi Yuan Ling to start the lesson. Please, Miss Shi. Thank you, Paisan. Welcome. So do you know that where I am right now? I am in Australia. So do you know that I'm just right in front of Sydney Opera House? So let's join me. We are having this class, Landmarks from Around the World. What I'm looking for today, I wish that by the end of the lesson, you can identify the location of the seven new seven bundles of the world on the map. I can read and get the most important information from the accepts on landmarks. Number three, I can read the accepts and identify the superlative adjectives from the accepts. Number four, I can describe a landmark in Malaysia using superlative adjectives. Let's travel with me. Now, what is landmark? 
landmark, according to Cambridge Dictionary, is a building or place that is easily recognized, especially one that you can use to judge where you are. It is considered especially important as an example of its time. Next, we have the new seven wonders of the world. Number one, what is it? The Colosseum. Number two, Taj Mahal. Number three, Machu Picchu. It's not Pikachu that you used to know, it is Machu Picchu. Number four, Petra. Number five, Great Wall of China. Number six, is not chicken, but Chichen Itza. Number seven, Christ the Redeemer. Next, we are going to travel with me. Since I'm in Australia right now, I want you to come along with me. So the game, we are going to have an interaction quiz. Where is? Choose the correct country. If you succeed, you will go to the next one. What if you fail to do so? If you fail to do so, you will start here for uh, until five o'clock. So until the end of the lesson. So let's come on, activate your schema dust so that you can travel more places with me. So Taj Mahal, where is it? A, B, C, D. So I want you to type your answer in capital letter A, B, C, or D at the command section there. So while waiting for your answer, Taj Mahal is a ruler named Shah Jahan had the Taj Mahal built as a monument and tomb for his beloved wife, Mom Taj Mahal. Okay, I can see a few answers here. So I want you write in capital letter, capital letter D. Okay, that's great. You see, if you cannot answer, you will be, you won't be able to go to the next one. So D, correct. You're right. What is next? The Great Wall of China. Okay, this clue is from China. So where is it? Where is China? A, B, C, or D? The Great Wall of China is an ancient wall in China to form a united defense system. It is the longest structure humans have ever built. Okay, we have answer B. Oops, try again. So the total length of the Great Wall of China built in different dynasty is 21,196 km. It is 9.1 meters wide and 15 meters high. So can I have some answer? What is the answer? Oh, yeah, correct. Sam Kobun. Sam Kobun Diam. Okay, next. Where is it? Chichen Issa. Chichen Issa. Where is it? You are going to tell me the answer. The height of Chichen Issa is 24 meters tall without the temple. It is 30 meters tall with the temple. The base of Chichen Itza is 55.3 meters tall. Our Castillo is the largest pyramid and the most famous part of Chichen Itza. Okay, we have A. Oh, you are right, Eric. Thanks. Christ the Redeemer. A, B, C, D. Christ the Redeemer is a statue of Jesus Christ of 30 meters high, excluding its 8 meter pedestal. The arm stretch 28 meters wide. The statue has become a cultural icon and a symbol of Christianity across the world. Okay, can we have some answers? A, B, A or B, so can we see A, no? B, yes, you're right, next. The one that you mentioned in the comment section before this. We have the Colosseum, which is the largest amphitheater in the in the Roman world. 
The massive structure measures tower four stories high. So we have four stories here. So A, B, C, D, which one? Can we have answer from the students? C, yes, you are right. Very good. Next, we can proceed. The name Petra comes from rock. Many of Petra's buildings were carved directly into rocky sandstone cliffs. So this is a rose city. It is not because there are many roses in the city. It is because of the color of the stone from which it is carved. So answer, can I have some answers from you? Donkey, Lim Ping Che. Yes, you are right. Okay, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is an Incan citadel set high in the Andes Mountains in Peru. Machu Picchu is the most impressive stone building. So, where is it? Where is it? Students, your answer, please. Oh, B. Yeah, all right. But why you write so many Bs? Can we have one B? <laughs> Next, the new seven wonders of the world. That you can see that Chichen Itza is in Mexico. So here are there. So we are traveling around the world. The first passcode for today is the Iron Lady. So could you please write down the Iron Lady? Next, the Eiffel Tower Paris in France. The tower is 324 meters tall, including the antenna at the top, about the same height as an 81-story building. Without the antenna, it is 300 meters tall. So students, I want to, you to do some calculation. I want to ask you, what, how tall is the antenna. Could you please do some calculation? Three to four meters minus 300 meters. How tall is the antenna? Do we have answer from students? Yes, Lim Ping Chu, 24 meters, you are right. It is the tallest structure made of wrought iron in Paris. Yes, you say it is very beautiful. Do you like the night view or the day view? For sure, you would like the night view because the Iron Lady with the 20,000 of sparkling lights sparkle for five minutes every hour, creating the most romantic atmosphere, the most beautiful view of the city from the tower top and the most wonderful landscape. So it is a symbol of love for many couples as thousands of marriage proposals are made under the beautiful tower every year. So if you want to wait for the nine views, the sparkling lights, you have to wait for every hour just for five minutes view. Next. The Maslow Kremlin in Russia. Kremlin is a Russian word for fortress or citadel. Okay. It is the best known of the Kremlin's Russian fortresses. It includes, it includes five palaces, four citadels, and the enclosing Kremlin wall with Kremlin towers. Again, I want to ask you, do you like the night view? Or the day view. If they view, you can see the red brick castle in Musgrove. If night view, you can see the lightings. So beautiful, yes. Next, the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. It is a freestanding circular bell tower in Italy. It is known worldwide for its nearly four degree length. Lanes at 
3.99 degrees. So it is not straight, but leaning tower. As a result of an unstable foundation because the soft ground, so it is not stable. Okay, I want to ask you, from the ground on the low side, how tall is the tower? From the ground on the low side, how tall is the tower? Fifty five point eight six meter, yes. Fifty six point six seven meter on the high side. So we have two sides because the low and the high side. It is constructed of white marble. The tower has how many stories? Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight stories. Next, we have Big Band, London in England. Do you know that this structure, this building is not called Big Band? Then what is Big Band? What is Big Band? It is the building. Okay, the structure is called the Elizabeth Tower. And the bell within the tower is named Big Ben. The tower stands 96 meters tall. There are, home, there are five bells in the towers, but Big Ben is the largest one that weighs 13.5 long tons. So it is this one, the bell, called Big Ben. The structure, the building is called the Elizabeth Tower. Next, Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. We're talking about the seven wonders of the, the ancient world. Just now I introduced to you the new seven wonders. Now we have the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest of the pyramids in Egypt. The pyramid was built as a tomb for the ancient Egyptian ruler. If the king died, they will have this tomb in the Great Pyramid of Giza. So you have to know that, you have to remember that it is the, the ancient world, the seven wonders of the ancient world. Okay. Do you feel familiar? Can you see the picture? Yes, this is where I am right now. Sydney Opera House in Australia. The Sydney Opera House is a multi-venue performing arts center at Sydney Harbour, located in Sydney, Australia. It is one of the 20th century's most distinctive buildings. As one of the most popular visitor attractions in Australia, the site is visited by more than 8 million people annually. Annually means that every year there are 8 million visitors. In one of them is Mishi. Next. The second passcode for today is Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty. So you have to gather all together three passcodes. Statue of Liberty, New York in the USA. The Statue of Liberty is 92 meters high from ground level. It is made of an iron structure with copper skin. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States in year 1886. So from which country? send the gift to the United States. Do you know that it is not originated from the United States, but it is a gift. So from France, you have to see that. The torch frame is covered with 24K gold and the crown has seven rays for the seven continents. Look at the hands. Lady Liberty holds a torch above her head with her right hand. Can you show me your right hand, although I cannot see you? But 
can you show me your right hand whether this is right or this is left which one right hand yes right hand the lady liberty holds a torch above her head with her right hand and her left hand carries a tabula ansata what is tabula ansata can you see that the picture here actually is is a tablet for inscription tabula ansata so, like a book it remains a symbol of freedom and democracy so you have to know where is your right and where is your left and also lady liberty holds a torch above her head with her right hand yes next we are going to do a reading task the first one so you need to type your answer at the comment section the first question where is the statue of liberty located where is the location of the statue of Le uh, statue of liberty new york okay new york is not complete not an okay so can i have a complete answer more than new york be specific where is the country and where is the city as new york in the usa correct next the statue of liberty okay how tall is it from ground level How many meters high from ground level? The first main point. 92 meters. Yes, 92 meters high from ground level. Okay, it is made of an iron structure with copper skin. So we have made of an iron structure with copper skin. Next. What can you see? For well, this one, what should you write? Hmm. A gift from France to United States. Next. This one, a long, long answer. Can I have a long answer? The thought frame is covered with 24K gold and the crown has seven rays for the seven continents. Okay, the last one. What is it? It remains a symbol of freedom and democracy. Next, we have the Eiffel Tower, the first one. Same with the Liberty. Okay, we have, where is it? Where is the location of the Eiffel Tower? As I say, you need to write a complete answer, be specific. Where is the city and where is the country? Yes, you need to write capital letter P and F we have in Paris, France. Next, the first line. How can you describe the Eiffel Tower? Hmm. 
is 324 meters tall. Okay, next. What is next? The tallest structure made of 300. The tallest structure made of rough iron in Paris. Okay, the tallest structure in Paris. So we have another point. So this is made of rough iron. Next. From here. A symbol of love. This line. The Iron Lady with the 20,000 of sparkling lights. So we do not repeat the Iron Lady. We take 20,000 of sparkling lights sparkle for five minutes every hour. Last one. Iconic building. So we look at these thinking maps for reading. We have the similarities and also differences. Therefore, we have this double bubble map. Okay, again, I want you to look at this one. The Statue of Liberty is located in it's very easy. Can I have answer from you? Number one. The Statue of Liberty is located in, where is the place? New York in USA. Yes, New York in the USA. Have to put the uh, USA. And the Eiffel Tower is located in the city and the country. In Yes, Paris in France. The Statue of Liberty remains a symbol of a symbol of Statue of Liberty here. Answer please. Freedom, rim painter. Freedom. So another one and not complete. Can I have a complete answer? Freedom and democracy. Yes. While the Eiffel Tower is. Okay, we talk about simple. So we, we focus on simple as well. Eiffel Tower. Yes, it's a symbol of love. Yes, you need to put a symbol of love, Melissa. Remember that a symbol of love. For many couples, as thousands of marriage proposals are made under the beautiful tower every year. The Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower both are both. They share the similarities. Both are. So I'm going to wait for your answer because this is a tricky one. Both are. As well as very popular tourist attraction. So you see something, your answer must be related with very popular tourist attractions. Maybe for the beauty of perhaps the unique structure we have made of iron and iconic landmarks. Both are 
made of iron and iconic landmarks? Okay, see. The answer is both are the iconic landmarks. If you just write iconic landmarks, you have to put the article the. Next, view of questions. Just now I have read the accepts for you and you have done reading, you have understanding. Now we are going to have this one. Which landmark is a multi-venue performing arts center? Where I am right now. So the answer please. Which landmark is a multi-venue performing arts center where I am right now? Sydney Opera House. Okay, next. You are right, so give you marks first. What does Lady Liberty hold in her right hand? I emphasize a lot on what does she hold in her right hand? Right hand. Yes, I saw a few answers. Can I have some answer yes touch yes you're right what is the name of the bell within the elizabeth tower the bell the name of the bell Yes, done. Big Ben, correct. What does Lady Liberty hold in her left hand? Left hand. Left hand. Start with T. What is it called? A tablet, right? What is it called? A book. A book. Yes, tabula ansata. I see tablet ansata, but the answer, the correct answer is tabula ansata. Still give you marks for this. Tablet and Sata. Which landmark is the best known of the Kremlins? Which one? Kremlins? The red color. Okay, cannot see your answer while waiting for you to answer me. The wall. The muscular clam lens. Next. The dust. The third passcode for today is the superlative adjective. So write down the three parts codes. 
the first one, the second one, and the third one. So you have collected three all together right now. Find the superlative forms of adjective from the accepts. You can see that I have highlighted for you the tallest, the most romantic, the most beautiful, the most wonderful. Next, we have the best, the largest, the oldest, the most distinctive, the most popular. Okay, again, we have another interactive session for fun learning. You need to match a pair, a pair means that one and 20, like this, old, the oldest, popular, the most popular. When you turn over two cards that do not match, those cards are turned face down again in the same position. The trick is to remember the position of the pairs. So you need to remember the position of the pairs. The person with the most pairs at the end of the game wins. So you are going to calculate on your own how many pairs do you get at the end of the game? So maybe you can share at the comment section and, and show your friends how many pairs do you get at the end of the game. Okay. Are you ready for the game? Are you ready? So I will give you three, 30 seconds, okay, 30 seconds to remember the position of the pair. I won't talk for 30 seconds. After that, we will start the game. So look, get it, pay attention, and remember that position of that pair. Time's up, are you ready? Are you ready? Can I have yes or no if you're not ready? If you are not ready, maybe, maybe I can consider that I will go back ready. Okay, Melissa is ready. So she represents everyone say yes. Okay, do you want to type? Okay, you want me to open one for you first? Okay, number two, B, C. So, your answer will be? One? No? Seven? Yes, you're right. Okay, number one. Far? Where is it? The superlative adjective of far? Fourteen. Yes, you're right. We have number three. Number three, bad. Let's go for. Bad. Ten. Yes, the worst. Okay, I open number six. Early. Early. Way, way, way. So twenty. Oh no. Okay, number five. Correct. Now we have fan fascinating, fascinating. 
20, the most colorful, no. Colorful, no. Now we are at fascinating, so. Eighteen, the most fascinating. Number nine, tiny. Tiny. Oh, 16, you're right. Good job. The tiniest. Number 11. Eleven. Much. It's me, Adriana. Most. 15, most. Much, most. 12, good. Wow, good. Little, no. Good. Seventeen, no, little. Nineteen, yes, the best. Colorful. Yes, the most colorful. Last but not least, little and least. So we have done with this. Can you see the combination? Yeah, here we are, the writing task. We have Petronas Twin Towers KL, KL Malaysia. Now we fly back to Malaysia. No longer in Australia anymore. So look at this one. The buildings are linked by a sky bridge. Normally, a simple sentence like this is correct. The buildings are linked by a sky bridge. But Petronas Twin Towers are buildings in Malaysia. It's correct. They are the tallest Twin Towers. Surya K LCC is a shopping center. This one is correct, absolutely correct. Just that, how are we going to increase the score by adding something in between? So we need to elaborate by adding the 88 story buildings are linked at the 41st and 42nd levels by a distinctive sky bridge. Do you think this one is A, B, or C? The grades for this sentence? Better than the first one, right? The buildings are linked by a sky bridge. So this one, the 88 story buildings are linked at the 41st and 42nd levels by a distinctive sky bridge. This one is much better. So look at the second one. Petronas Twin Towers are the most iconic building. So you need to describe it using the superlative adjective in Malaysia. They are the tallest twin tower in the world. Add in some some words so to show that oh you are knowledgeable you know that the facts that they are the tallest twin towers in the world sura klcc is a shopping center at the feet of the patronas twin towers so therefore i want you to write not just a simple simple description but add in some superlative adjectives that you have learned from the game and also from the accepts that we have learned before to write a better essay, a good essay, a good paragraph. The writing task is, look at this barcode, QR code, and also the link, choose a landmark in Malaysia. I give you one example. This is Batu Cave. Write at least two sentences to describe it. I've prepared one for you. I want you to attach a picture of the landmark and you need to write your name and your description. 
make it a longer sentence with some adjectives beautify your sentence so that you can score better i will look at it i will look at your task and comment on it so you can you can use Batu Cave, the most popular, the most colorful, or you can choose a landmark in Malaysia, any landmarks in Malaysia that you like, you would love to travel to. I give you one minute, uh, no, I give you a few seconds to scan the bar QR code and also to take down the link. So we have the link at the comment section. Get ready for your writing task. After this, please write at least two sentences to describe the landmark in Malaysia. The link, maybe we can put again and again so that the students can see. Yeah. Tiny CC. Is it learning writing for? Okay. That's all for today, but before we end the session, I want you to recall back, recall back the passcodes, the three passcodes that I have revealed during the session. So could you tell your friends what are the three passcodes? Maybe they lost somewhere. So you recall back and you can type in the comment section. In order to get in order to get the certifications, you need to have the three passcodes. And also we need to have this attendance list at the command session. Fireball hot sun. Fireball hot sun, you are right. That means you are fully you are playing consent you are concentrated okay see okay to recap can you identify the locations of the new seven bundles of the world on the map number two can you read the accepts and identify the superlative adjective from the accepts I think you can read and get the most important information from the except on landmarks and describe a landmark in Malaysia using superlative adjectives and last task for you. So I'm waiting for your answer. Thank you. That really interesting and full with the interaction with our Now, we are almost at the end of our lesson today. We hope that you all enjoy the lesson and have a fun learning today. Once again, before you leave, I need some help from you all again. Maybe it's some repetition that I scared that you all forget to do that. Once again, before you leave, please like our Facebook page and subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you have done it, thank you and well done. Our lesson coming to the end that just now Miss Shi has done reminded you all that about the attendance list. So do you all have been completed? If you are have the missing just now, I repeat again here. This is the link for the attendance form. You can tap it into your web browser. Or if it feels that your fingers is quite heavy to tap it, then open up your scan apps or any apps that able to scan the barcode scan the qr code then you also able to reach for the attendance 
least and the most important is the three past goods. I believe that you all can remember it very well, right? No man, I believe that you are. I knew that you all can do it very, very, very well. Okay, so before we end the lesson, I have been some maybe advertisement or can be say that as a promotion or can be said that as an introduction for the others session the then the June. Yes, the first one will be on 28th of June, Monday, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. will be another English online lesson. And the speaker is me. And the topic is about houses from around the world. And the targeted students is for years one, two, and three. But everyone is welcome to attend the lesson. The next one. 除了英文呢，我们也还有华文。六月十五日下午的四点到五点钟，有我们的华文写作课专题呢，是最爱的是你。欢迎其他年级的同学，除了三四年级，我们也欢迎其他年级的同学一起到来聆听。They are English, Chinese, and Cantonese is the Bahasa Melayu. Bagi kelas Bahasa Melayu, siri tiga yang bertajuk Nyah COVID-19 yang bertemahkan keselamatan juga akan diadakan pada 17 Jun 2021 pukul 4 petang. Dan sasaran murid adalah kepada murid tahap tua. Tetapi, seperti yang lain, semua yang berminat juga digelakkan untuk menghadiri pelajar. Tanya, 我们除了学习，还有最重要的就是大家的兴趣。所以呢，别忘了六月二十五日晚上傍晚的八点钟到九点钟有硬笔日书写的自趣班。Kita juga ada kelas di dekhibur yang berkaitan ataupun bertemakan estetika tulisan Cina yang akan diadakan. Pada 25 Jun 2021 hari Jumaat pada jam 8 hingga 9 malam. Maka ini adalah sedikit sebanyak yang ingin saya perkenalkan kepada semua. There's a little bit or there is a several session I wish to introduce for you all. That's all for today's lesson. I hope to see you again in our next lesson before I ended up the session today, I invite again Miss Shi to be here to say a goodbye to you all. Miss Shi, are you ready to say the goodbye to all of them? Yes. Okay, goodbye, bye everyone. Students. See you all. Bye. Next See you. Bye.